So today is the 10th of December 2019. I've been practicing uh, blind touch typing for just about um, 11 weeks now. So let's see where I am currently as an update. This is 10fastfingers.com and as always I'm not going to look at the keyboard. We are touch typing here. What was that? Mm. Couldn't make it. Well, 50 watts per minute, so minus 2 wrong words, around 48 watts per minute. And uh, this is the problem now. I'm hovering and basically plateauing at 50 watts per minute. Every error I make takes me away and below 50 watts per minute, and every error I don't make takes me above. It's a problem, but also a very big uh, improvement because uh, 11 weeks ago, basically I started from zero. Um, when you start from not looking at the keyboard at all, you're basically like a baby trying to walk. Um, it was pretty um, frustrating at times, but I forced myself not to look at the keyboard at all and uh, continue to touch type even while answering emails as long as it took to get it done I, I tried not to look at the keyboards and looks like my work is paying off. Let's see on uh, my typing club. Now this is the website where I practice. They have a very nice curriculum and you can see I have a total practice time of 13 hours. So over the last 11 weeks I've just been doing maybe one or two heavy runs of uh, the typing club lessons so i i don't practice every day but when i start i basically do a lot of hours this is how i've been able to accumulate just 13 hours and you can see from here the darker the color so green the greener the more work was done and that was uh, october a lot of work was done then and you can see november almost nothing and I just started practicing again, again this December. So I need to really put in a lot more work. I'm currently at 22% um, progress. So I'm in the capital letters now, G and H, uh, lesson 155. And what I do is that when I see that I'm starting to slow down or uh, make a lot of errors, then I start again the lesson. And... Uh, Every time I start a lesson, I get much faster, and that means that I'm actually making progress, and typing is now becoming much more um, muscle memory than me actually trying to remember where, where letters are. So another important factor for me is that I found out that I'm just not made for keyboards with large travel. And if you can see, I don't know how to show you this. You can see how much travel there is. And uh, just generally, as, for my, as per my nature, I'm just someone that is not wanting to waste too much energy and uh, too much uh, resources to get work done. And so I found out that I should move on to a keyboard that has very little um, travel, uh, that is mostly keyboard-like and chiclet. So unfortunately, mechanical keyboards are not for me. So let's just quickly do a run on the laptop and let me see if I can improve on this 50 watts per minute. Okay, so I've switched 
over to my laptop and you, you can see this is a Lenovo keyboard with very very short travel and so let's see if I can beat my time or my speed when compared to the other keyboard Wow, I did it! <laughs> For 59 watts per minute, let's remove those two watts per minute and you can see two arrows and you can see around 57 watts per minute. So <laughs> there it goes, that uh, proves my theory that uh, the shorter the travel, the more efficient I can step, get off, step, get off. It's just like a for me, it's just like running. When you're running on a well-paved uh, running lane, compared to running in mud, where you have to dip your feet deeper than the surface of where you're running on, and then you have to lift up your feet and take the next step. This is how those long travel keyboards are to me. I'm sure for others they are probably uh, an enjoyment and the opposite than the way that I think, but this is it for me. And so... This is why some of my last videos I've been looking for showing you me in the shops trying out different keyboards. And uh, so to have the best and most efficient and fastest typing for me should uh, I will need a short travel keyboard and uh, preferably wired. And I have very little options but we'll see in the future how it goes. 59 words per minute, so let's say 57, it's uh, probably one of my highest scores and doing it on video, I just had to try to um, forget that I'm making a video and concentrate because it got very hard in some of my previous runs. So thanks for watching, I hope this video helps. It really shows how much improvement you can if you really put something, uh, put your mind to something and uh, keep going at it, okay? Take care.